So hi guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. It's been a hot minute, I know. Hopefully I will get into a video update soon about my personal existence. Um, but yeah, I'm here to do the Grinch of the Hunt announcement actually because I should probably do that. A cat is over there getting in a box and all I see is her butt just straight up in the air. And now just a tail. Anyway, cats. This is another reason why I haven't been making videos. I got too many cats. I miss you guys, and it's been a while since I made a video, clearly. Anyway, so if you don't know what Grinchathon is, it is a readathon that I created. I created it during the holiday season because I hate the holidays, um, and I usually work during the holidays. I actually got a new job, which we will get into in a life update at some point if you want one. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, so I do Christmas in July as well. I usually do one during this time of the year just because I miss you guys. It's too long to wait all year just to see you. I miss you. So we do it twice, at least twice. Sometimes I throw an extra round in when I really miss you guys. Anyway, so not that I don't miss you all the time, but anyway, so Grinchathon will be running from the 24th to the 31st of July of this month. Uh, and there are no rules for Grinchathon. If you're new here, I'm sure most of you are already Grinchy veterans. Um, but if you're new here, um, literally I'm going to give you challenges, but you don't have to use them and you can manipulate them however you want, however you want. You can stack them. You can throw the challenges away. You can also use books that you're currently reading. I freaking hate readathons that are super structured. I mean, some people love them and that's fine. That's fine. But me personally, I can't stand them. And I can't stand when a readathon tells you, you have to start a book the day of the readathon. Otherwise it doesn't count. I hate that. I hate that so much, so much. So yeah, if you have like one word left to read in that book and you read that one word during Grinchathon, it counts. Everything counts. Everything. So don't, there's, there's no structure. I just spit. There's no structure. You do you. But anyway, let's get into the challenges now that we're there. The first one is cool. Um, this could be a book. I use this one during summer a lot because it's hot as hell. Um, this could be a book with water on the cover. This could be a book with cool colors on the cover. This could be a book set in winter. This could be a book that you read while you're in the AC. This could be a re book that you read while you're at the beach and you're just, ugh, and you're, while you're in the pool. I've had people read in the pool while which I love. I love. I love that. <laughs> Challenge number two is going to be easy. An easy read. This could be a quick read. This could be a book that is like, for me, for me, it's been smutty books lately have just been way too easy to fly through. It's the only thing that saved my Goodreads goal. I'm already way past my Goodreads goal because of smut. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a changed woman. Challenge number three is Rainbow. This is actually inspired by my current, my new boss. <laughs> My new boss came by my desk. I decorated my desk for Pride Month, duh, um, and it was super gay looking. There were rainbows everywhere, and because um, now I have my own little like desk and cubicle area kind of at work at my new job, and I love it so much. But um, yeah, yeah. So she came by and she's like, "It's Pride Pride Month is over. Take this all down." And I know she was joking. She was joking, guys. I didn't take it offensively. I know she was joking, but it made me spiteful. <laughs> because pride should be year round. So, um, so I, well, I, I even said to her, I go, uh, I'm gay year round. I don't know if you need to hear this, but year round. I'm queer year round. Um, so for challenge of rainbow, this could be a book with rainbow colors. This could be a pride book, an LGBTQIA plus book. It could be a book that has your favorite color from the rainbow. Um, it doesn't matter. Or is going to be free space. I've never done this before, I don't think. Have I done this? I probably have. This is a free space. This could be a book, anything. It could be any, literally anything anything. If you want some more structure and you want to pick a book out of a TBR jar, I love seeing how people like fill in free spaces. I think that's kind of cool. Um, so if you want to pick a book out of like if you have a TBR jar, if you want to like, I have a prompt jar that we will get into in a minute. Um, but if you want to use, I've, I've used tarot cards before to pick my next read. Um, I've used random number generators to pick my next read. Um, you could do that or you could just literally anything that you want to read. 
It could also be a book that you picked up for free, like from the library. Number five is pictures or drawings or illustrations or whatever. It's whatever. So this could be a kid's book. This could be a book with an illustrated cover. There are so many of them. Um, this could be a book with this could be a manga, this could be a graphic novel, this could be a book, just a regular book that has drawings in them or has drawings on like the chapter pages or whatever. Doesn't matter. You could read this book, you could, like if you're, if you're an audiobook guy, audiobook girl, audiobook non-binary person, um, if you're an audiobook person, uh, you could listen to it while you're drawing. Number six is finish. I always like to add this one in because it's it's just a reminder that you can read books that you've already started. If you finish anything during Grinchathon, it counts, even if you have one word left. And if you don't finish anything, it doesn't matter either. It doesn't matter. You could also read while you're finishing up your day. Ah, that counts, that counts. I like to listen to audiobooks and podcasts when I'm working in the garden because like my music can sometimes be a little aggressive. So uh, when I'm at the community garden, I like to listen to books or podcasts. So it could be while you're finishing up in your garden. See, see, you can do all kinds of things. Challenge number seven is going to be just two letters, just B-A, B-A. I picked it for badass because I want to read more badass women, uh, which we will also get to in, in a minute. But this could be anything. This could be a book that is has BA in the name, in the title. That is the same thing. And the author's initials are BA, has BA. Or, or you could pick a band book. BA. A band book. <laughs> See what I did there? And last, number eight, I'm going to pick a prompt out of my TBR jar. This, I'm not going to show it to you because unfortunately it is HP related. I got these in like the owl crates like forever ago. And I feel really bad because Kara, Kara Kosick, the girl who designs these mugs are, she is really talented. But I feel bad because I hate HP um, so much. <laughs> and I, it's just, anyway, it's not HP that I hate. I think HP is overrated anyway, but um, it is, I always kind of thought that, but um, it is you know, the unfortunate author that I wish would burn in fucking hell something. It has to be like a prompt. Oh no, I don't like that one. It's not very Grinchy. It's not a very Grinchy prompt. This one. This one just has hearts on it. <laughs> I don't know what passes he meant with that. I don't know, but go with it. Hearts, hearts. So it could be a book that has love. I'm looking at a book right now that like could be a book, uh, could be a romance, could be a book with hearts on the tie a cover, um, could be a book that you think is going to break your heart, could be a book that has love in the title, could be a book about love, aka a romance, I just said that, um, it could be lots of things, you could really do lots of things with this, hmm, I'm, like, now I'm concocting, because now I've had time to think about all the other prompts, but that one I haven't had time to think about. Anyway, so those are all the challenges. I hope you participate and hang out with us. If not, that's cool too. You don't have to. Um, there are also Instagram prompts down below that I put there and I will put them on my personal Instagram. I don't have a Grinchathon Instagram. I don't know why. I should really make one, but I don't. I will also be over on Twitter on the Grinchathon Twitter. I hardly ever get on Twitter. I literally like I get on for you guys most of the time. Like I hardly ever use Twitter anymore, but I'll be running Twitter sprints over there and hanging out with you guys. Um, and, and friendly reminder that like Twitter sprints, I don't do Twitter sprints to be like, read. I do Twitter sprints because I miss you guys and I like wanna hang out with you. So like, even if you are just there for Twitter sprints or you're not there, it doesn't matter. Uh, you do you. But even if you're just like hanging out and it's not about like, like, yes, I'm like, hey, let's read from here to here, but you do not have to read. You can just chill. You don't have to do anything during Grinchathon that you do not want to do. All right, so also I have a thing that I would like to do for this round and might be a little controversial. And if it is controversial for you, you do not need to participate in Grinchathon. I don't need you here, uh, which sounds mean, but I am a Grinch. 
So for every single person that makes a TBR or doesn't make a TBR, I know some people don't like to make TBRs. Some people are mood readers. And I'm not gonna pressure you into making a TBR for Grinchathon because you don't even need to participate in the challenges to be a part of Grinchathon. I'm not gonna make you do things. That's not me. But for every person that makes a TBR and lets me know that they made a TBR or lets me know that they didn't make a TBR, if you let me know down below and be like, hey, I think I'm gonna mood read, but I'm definitely gonna participate, that counts for me. Um, any person that does that, on any platform, you have to let me know though, I'm not like psychic, I won't like know where you are when you're, when you're reading or what you're reading, I'm not, I wish I could just download that into my brain, that'd be pretty cool, but also kind of scary, like a Black Mirror episode. But anyway, if you do that on Twitter, on Instagram, I am also on TikTok, I am here, if you make a blog post, whatever, whatever you do, um, as long as it gets to me and I find out about it, I'm going to donate $5 to abortion funds for every single person that does that. Um, if you would like the funds to be donated to a specific state, if you have a specific state in mind, because some states are more scary than others right now, um, I will donate to that specific state. Just let me know which state. Um, I recently donated $50 to Ohio abortion um, funds because uh, a lady on TikTok thought that it was okay for a 10 year old to be forced to carry her rapist's child. And so I donated money on her behalf to charities because I'm petty, because I'm petty. Anyway, um, so yeah, so if you have a specific one in mind, let me know. If not, I would just donate to wherever. I am currently in a state, as of right now, we do have an election coming up in November that could change things, but I am currently in a state right now that uh, I'm safe, so I'm not, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about everyone else, um, which is part of the problem. Some people are just like, well, it's not gonna affect me. So. But uh, it doesn't affect you until it does. And um, so anyway, and I'm not here to argue. No, this isn't the place for discourse. If you say stuff down below about pro-birthing, I'm not gonna call you pro-life because you're not pro-life. Um, if you're down below and you're pro-birthing, I will get rid of you. So, well, I'm, I'm not like the godfather. I'm not gonna like get rid of you, but you know, you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And yeah, I will see you guys during Grinchathon. I love you guys so much. I will see you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And let's do all the Grinchy things and just take a break from existing for a while from the world because the world is, it's something. Anyway, I'm going to go. I have to go and dick around in my garden for a bit. Um, I love you guys so much. I've said that already. I miss you guys. Okay. So I'm going to say it multiple times because it's true. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye.